Hi there, it's Nick Dutch back on the camera yet again. Hi there, how's it going? Um, just answering a few quick questions from one particular YouTube user whose channel is called Seraph, C E R A P H, I think, 888, who's inquired after having viewed my video on the subjects of demonology why do conjurers still insist that demons wear medieval costumes or clothes? Are demons stuck in a time warp? Well, <laughs> I don't think that we could say that demons are stuck in a time warp. We can say that people are. Some people choose to allow the books that they read and the religious texts and occult texts to sufficiently control their own outlook on the way the world works and what the apparently supernatural world is to the point whereby it becomes a hard and fast objective fact. And they stop, or, or to them it's a hard and fast objective fact, and they stop actually applying any um, critical thinking. So there are some individuals who would take the more, almost, almost a view of a Bible literalist, but instead apply to the Lesser Key of Solomon, the Greater Key of Solomon, and other allegedly classic grimoires, and they would maintain their adherence uh, to certain ideas and certain theological concepts uh, in a rather conservative manner. And so, yes, some people are stuck in a time warp and would rather follow what they regard as being a tradition rather than to actually think for themselves, which is incredibly, incredibly sad and pathetic, I must say. Um, so I don't think that demons are, are all dressed in the manner of a duke or whatever. It's bullshit. Complete bullshit. Just remember the demonology, as in the Lesser Key of Solomon, um, is merely um, uh, a westernized or European-centered version of the, the, the country religious traditions in um, Haiti, basically. It's, it's just the same as voodoo, and in fact the demons, as, um, as illustrated in the Lesser Key of Solomon, are also treated as spirits of nature by the practitioners of voodoo and Santeria. Sorry, Santeria, is that a correct pronunciation? I'm not sure. Anyway, the fact of the matter is these alleged entities, these spirit entities, these apparent quasi-deity things are worshipped, revered, and used in other forms of religious practices. So it's just another fucking religion, you know. Don't have to take it too seriously, and you can play it any way you see fit on the basis of you thinking about the bloody thing, okay? Now, the next question that Sarah 888 asked was, Why do some people need to summon succubuses and incubuses, and others just attract them? Well, in the first case, some people are horny, and in the second case, some people are mentally ill and screwed up in some peculiar sexual way of which most teenagers tend to be. So you'll find that lots of people in their teens and early twenties will be fascinated by the idea of summoning sexual beings. And they may well have uh, an experience which they will ascribe to the being, but in fact it might not be the being. It may just be the fact they've got a bit of a brain wave or brain chemistry abnormality, or just they haven't been looking after their diet and they're mentally affected by poor diet, lack of exercise, um, bad health, which is having an impact upon the brain, therefore putting them into a variety of trance anyway, thus making the entire experience of the apparent or alleged succubus or incubus much more, in inverted commas, real or seemingly real as a result of the various hallucinatory phenomena that might occur with individuals. So, yes, there, it is necessary to just doubt people once in a while and to doubt yourself and to doubt your own experiences so you don't go completely mad and be terrified if there's a a demon underneath your stairs or whatever, so chill the fuck out. So remember, why do some people need to summon um, succubuses and inc uh, incubuses? Well, you know, they're just dying for a shag, that's all that there is to it. Others just attract them, well, they're, they're mentally ill. Um, it's quite simple, alright? <laughs> so, chill the fuck out, stop taking life too seriously. Um, Speak to you soon. Bye for now.